So now they're selling the commercial lighting. Now they're selling the commercial lighting business. Everything must go. Um, no, I mean, it, it's, it's, this is not, no, no, I'm joking, but um, it, it was right. not totally <laughs> unexpected that they were going to sell lighting. Although I will say, you know, their light bulb business has been on the block for quite some time now, not that long ago, you know, just a few years ago, they were saying commercial lighting would not be part of that. And that's what they're selling today. Um, we don't have a price on this. I don't imagine it's a particularly huge deal, just given the revenue uh, and profit in this business. It was about 1.9 billion of revenue, but that also includes the consumer light bulb division uh, in 2019. So I don't think this is a game changer for GE, but I also think every little bit of cash that you can bring in the door right now does help. Why is it worth more to AIP than it is to GE? Because that's the question of every one of these transactions. You know, so this is a business where um, GE really saw a digital strategy. So a lot of this is in terms of, you know, reinventing the way that we do street lights and, you know, coming up with ways for cities to develop better traffic patterns. Mm -hmm. And this requires investment. It requires a lot of research. And that's not something that GE is necessarily going to be in a position to do over the next couple of years as it really focuses cutting costs, doing a lot of restructuring, paying off that massive debt load that it's contending with. And so, you know, you look at a business like this, in order for it to thrive, it needs to be in a position where somebody can spend the money on it. And I think, you know, this is probably one of those situations. You know the question, what's next to sell? Uh, what's next to sell? Um, you know, so they have said they are looking to still spin off their healthcare business. There's a lot of questions about do they in fact go through with that or do they potentially look instead at selling the life sciences piece of GE Healthcare. Um, there was a report a while ago that Dan Hurt was actually interested in that piece of GE Healthcare, the life sciences oh, business. Ironic. Obviously, helpful. new CEO Larry Culp has some connections to Dan Hurt, um, so it'll be interesting to see if that comes about. The other big question is what do they do with that Baker Hughes stake? Um, yes. it, it's difficult. It's not that easy to just sell that because it's a very big block of shares and you also want to time it right that you get the most bang for your buck. And the problem is they've sort of put out there that they want to sell it, which is keeping the price suppressed. So that's going to be a difficult thing to manage. The other asset that people are watching is GCAS, which is the aircraft lesser. Uh, that would bring in a pretty big chunk of cash if they were to sell it, but it's also kind of a crown jewel. Yeah, so that's what's doing well. Yeah. So. And as I mentioned, pricing power, oil services, not yeah. so much.